problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and tell me. Cause I got problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, oh problems, I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and. So problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon it, tell me. Cause I check out problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, so problems, I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon it, tell YouTubers and welcome to another episode. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of a intro, edity type video start of the episode thing. Just trying something a little bit different because as always variation is one of the keys to motivation and speaking of motivation, that's what today is about. Because why not talk about what you're practicing in real life? Are you? And we've made it outside of the club on this breezy day after a lovely erg and obviously fueling up as well. I just missed the breaded egg toast. But talking about motivation today, and I have talked about a lot about motivation and a big part of that being variation. But we're not talking about variation and motivation today for not just rowing for anything. We're talking about having your goals set right and what does that mean well it means a few things when you are setting your goals when you're you're looking at what you want to achieve a big thing to do is be honest with yourself and choosing or looking at goals or setting goals that are achievable you don't want to say for example for me i don't want to say my goal is to go sub four minutes on a 2k because that's realistically impossible to do. So it's taking that and being honest with yourself. Okay, well, might say for if you want looking at a two k goal. So for me, PB of five fifty, a realistic goal would be to be sub five fifty for the two k. If you're around seven minutes, say seven o five, a goal could be for you going sub seven minutes. And as well as having realistic goals having goals that aren't too far away so say you're at seven minutes and you have a goal that is to go under six minutes i'm not saying don't have that goal i'm saying you have to have a something in between those goals because that can take that example in particular might not take too much time but you don't want to have an overreaching goal or a big stretch goal and that's it. You want to have small goals in between to keep yourself motivated, to keep yourself going, so that you're not always like, okay, I need to get sub six minutes. I've just went 6.30. I need to get sub six minutes. I've just went 6.20. I need to get sub six minutes. I've just went 6.10. I need to get some. And eventually that big goal will happen for you, but it makes it that much more difficult to hit that bigger goal when you're not having that little bit of motivation or extra motivation in between. So. It can literally be a case of, okay, we're at seven minutes and I want to get sub seven minutes. 
I've achieved that, I went five fifty or six fifty nine. And then okay, let's go for sub six fifty. And then okay, yeah, we get sub six fifty. That overall stretch goal is still sub six minutes, but each time you make an improvement, so you get to six fifty, six forty, six thirty, six twenty, six ten, and then sub six minutes, you get that little bit of boost of motivation to say, Yes, I am making good improvements, I am getting there, and I am making progress towards my goal which is a really big thing so like it is with motivation during the erg say you're doing a massive 20k straight on the erg for some steady state it can be easier to in your mind split it up into smaller more manageable chunks so just like splitting that 20k up in your head to so for me going through the odd numbers so 19 999 17 777 or any numbers that you want. So that's approximately every 2K, I've got like, okay, pass that marker, let's get to the next one. It's the same thing with goal setting. When you are setting a goal, you want to be able to hit that stretch goal and aim for that stretch goal, but it's almost using smaller goals as a step ladder to reach that top goal, if that makes sense. So I'm definitely not saying just go out and only have short goals. And I'm also not saying don't go for those stretch goals. I'm saying have both. So have those shorter term goals that are not easy to hit, but that are within range to hit. And then obviously you have those stretch goals as well to keep you motivated. So why am I doing all of these little goals? Well, this big stretch goal, that's why. I can't get to that stretch goal without all of these little goals, if that makes sense as well, because motivation can fade motivation can explode and you can be some days you can wake up and think you're going to smash it for the rest of the week and then you get to the end of the week and you you faded a bit and that's why having those little goals say it's a weekly goal that you have and you get closer to the end of the week and you're fading and you say oh i only need to do this training session once more to finish the week off strong and that can be your motivating factor there. So it is also finding things that motivate you, whether it's scores or events or even rewards for yourself. I hit a good score on my 2K, so I reward myself with a day out or whatever it is that might work for you. Anything like that, you have to kind of figure out for you personally, but is again, getting yourself motivated for a longer period of time towards the stretch goal, which can be a bit difficult. So making those small goals so that you can get those big goals and that will be it for today's episode yam squad hopefully you've enjoyed it we've got trials coming up this weekend and we've been talking with the doctors talking with the coaches and i think tomorrow we'll know what's what's to do and what's going on and as always remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and i'll see you in tomorrow's episode